Right, this is going to be a quick video on how to wire up your LED buttons. I know I get asked a lot for it, so it's easy if I just show you on here. If we look on the bottom of the bulb holder, you see you've got two connections there. Okay, one's positive, one's negative. It doesn't matter which way they go around. If it's not the right way, you can just take the bulb out and switch it around the other way, like that. Right, all you've got to do is make a daisy chain. The first wire comes in from your power supply, um, whether that be a PC power supply or a jammer power supply or one of the small hard drive power supplies, it's all the same principle. Uh, if you're using a PC one, um, yellow wire on the Modex connector is 12 volt plus and any of the blacks will do as a negative. So, imagine this length of wire here is connected up to your power supply. What you do is, you make a daisy chain, that's all it is. So depending on how many buttons you've got, you'll keep on looping and looping and looping. So we've got one, like that, onto one side. Then you go to your next one. And again, you put it on like that. And then the next wire, that will go to the next one. What I'll do, that's the positive there because it's red. So I'll just quickly make one in black. So again, this is going to your power supply and this is negative. So you measure the distance from your first button to your second button, approximately, and then you cut a piece that will fit from that to that. So it's like that, roughly that size. It obviously depends on your control panel or distance between the buttons. You get your big length, which is coming from your power supply, up to your small bit. Twist those together like that. You then get your crimp connector. Push it right in nice and far. And then clamp it down. Okay, so that will then go from that one to that one, and then imagine you've got another button here. You'll then do this. You'll then do exactly the same thing going from button to button. You cut a small piece, whatever the distance is apart, put it on like that. Again, twist them together. Crimp in. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. And again, that's all you're doing is making this. You're going from one to the other to the other to the other. For as many bulbs as you've got. Alternatively, for the negative, you can use one of these, which are already made up. They've got 30 connections on them. Obviously you're going to have to connect the first one all the way back to your power supply. And it's the same thing, you go from button to button to button. These are much easier, but you can only really use them for the negative. I mean, you can use them in theory on the positive, but as you can see, they're not shielded. So, on the other side of the bulb holder, like that, and like that. We have one negative, one positive. Let's just turn on the power supply. And none of them are lit up. If we just take the bulb out, turn it around, voila, on. And the same with this one, turn it around the other way. Two. That's it. There you go, and that's all there is to it. So again, depending on how many buttons you've got, all you're doing is cutting a small piece, roughly that size, and then looping it from button to button to button to button. Obviously make sure 
is enough play between the buttons. You don't want it too tight. Okay, and that should do you.